This video supported in part by When I was just a boy back in middle school, I took a class called Introduction to Computers. Now, of course, in that class, they wanted us to be doing work and programming and learning computers. What we wanted to do was play games. Now, the computers were just TRS-80 Model 3s, and this was all the way back in 19... But luckily, even way back then, there was a single piece of software that convinced teachers I was learning something, while I, in fact, knew I was playing a game, and that was the software called Oregon Trail. The game itself has its origins all the way back in the early 70s, but the premise is quite simple. You and your group of hardy frontiersmen stock up on supplies, load them in the wagon, and head west across the United States in the mid-1800s, trying to make your way to Oregon. Despite its age, Oregon Trail is a game that's never quite gone out of style. It continues to be re-released and innovated upon because it just has so much nostalgia for those of us that grew up with computers and were using it as a game we could play to pass off as education. Most recently, Super Impulse put out the micro arcade version of Oregon Trail. Now, arcade is kind of loosely used here. This is not an arcade game, it's a computer game, but okay, I get it. It's Oregon Trail in this credit card sized form factor of handheld toys that they have been releasing. I've been meaning to give this gadget a test drive for quite a while now, and the time is finally here. But it's, I feel a little bit underdressed for passing for 18, I, I got it. Hold on a second. And now we're ready. Firstly, a quick tour around the packaging shows us all the trappings we've come to expect from Super Impulse's Micro Arcade. This one is the Oregon Trail. As usual, it touts authentic gameplay and a full color screen down here next to the included micro USB charging cable. Around back, we get our first peek at this nice metallic flake metal backing on the unit. A little map that shows all the different buttons and switches. The smallest fully functional pocket-sized arcade game. I get, okay, computer game? Not arcade game, but I see what you're going for. But now let's get this guy sliced open and see what it has in store for us. Inside we have the micro arcade, we have a micro USB charging cable, we have this little micro catalog, and some micro instructions that I'm going to micro throw away. Turning our attention to the star of the show though, here is our little micro arcade. I've said before how much I like this transparent design where I can see the electronics. Reminds me of a touch-tone phone that I had probably in the mid 80s. Controls again consist of this four-way D-pad and this A and B button flanking the screen. On the lower right here is our micro USB charging port and across the top is our speaker on off and power switch. And then here on the back is a closer look of that metal plate that holds it all together with that nice green metallic finish. It's time to switch it on and see how Oregon Trail plays. And we're immediately greeted with a menu. I gotta scroll up and see Oregon Trail. Travel the trail, learn about the trail, see the Oregon top 10 and turn sound off. Oh, I got a button up here to turn sound off. So looks like this is probably designed to run on multiple platforms because I have a method of turning off the sound and I have an end, which I mean, there's nothing to end. We can't exit. So really it's these first three. So, oh, let's see the top 10. What's that about? Oh my goodness. Wow, does it store? I mean, those aren't my scores. Is it just making up names? I wonder if it stores high scores? We'll see what happens. Oh, and then it has, would I like to see how points are earned? Sure, tell me about it. Oh man, so I have to scroll pretty much every page. Let's see, all right, here's how you use, yeah. Yeah, it's basic Oregon Trail scoring. Yeah, how well you do, how much stuff you have when you get there. Yeah, well, there's a lot of detail. So pretty much all the documentation is inside. Yeah, it's inside of the game. So, I mean, it's it's full-blown Oregon Trail. That's great. Uh, what is the learn about the trail option? Let's see, let's go to number two and find out. Yeah, so it's telling you all about it. Here's how the game works. I'm just scrolling down to see the rest. Yep, and I'll, looks like there's pages upon pages. Full documentation. All right, I say we actually play Oregon Trail. All right, be a banker from Boston, a carpenter or find out about the differences. All right, so again, full documentation available. We'll just take the default, we'll be the banker. 
What is the first name of your wagon leader? Hmm. Oh, wait, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use some of our generous patrons who support us over on Patreon. They're going to be the wagon train. There we go. Marcus, Aaron, Thanos, Stu, and Mike, thank you for being patrons. For leaving independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You can buy whatever you need at Match General Store. Okay, sell me stuff. All right, what do I want? Well, I definitely want the oxen. What about food? All right, let's buy food. Recommend you take 200 pounds of food for each person. Okay, so how many do I want? There's five of us, that's at least a grand. So two sets of clothes for each person. Many sets of clothes, so all right, so that's at least 10. Ammunition, that's four. How much do you want? Two bucks a box. Give me lots of bullets so I can fight all the bad guys. Uh, spare parts. This is all just like I would expect to play on the computer. Yeah, all right, how many wagon wheels? Uh, how, many, how many can you give me? Give me three. All right, I've spent 700 bucks and I still have 15. I'm gonna say that I'm done. Well then, you're ready to start? Good luck. You have a long, difficult journey ahead. Yeah, a little music plays and you just tap a button to continue. All right. I really don't really like that I have to scroll every time. I mean, they could have made a smaller font or a bigger screen, I guess, to see all this. Continue on the trail, check supplies, look at the map. Oh, neat. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's continue on the trail. Here's the date, weather is warm, health is good, looking nice, all right. It's the May 3rd, it's May the 4th, oh, here comes a river, May 5th, bad weather, lost a day. It just progresses on its own. Okay, you're now at the Kansas River, would you like to look around? Yep, yeah, sure, why not? Ooh, pretty. All these little pictures are nice. The music is unnecessary, but it's cute enough, I guess. When I played this on computers, there was no sound. <laughs> we lost a day already. We could talk to people. I'm just gonna continue on the trail. Let's keep going. You must cross the river. Okay. Attempt to ford the river, caulk the wagon and float it across, take a ferry. Oh, there's a ferry? Okay, let's take the ferry. Two, three. Ferry operator will charge me five bucks. Oh, neat. I don't see the other side yet. There it is. Looks like we made it successfully. All right. The Kansas River, the crossing 82 miles to the Big Blue River crossing. All right, here we go. Weather cold, health is good. We're burning through our food. Next landmark, here we go. Oh, heavy fog, I lost a day. And now Big Blue River crossing. Would you like to look around? I would. Ooh, pretty. From the Big Blue River crossing is 118 miles to Fort Kearney. All right, here we go, 19th. Find wild fruit, so that means more food, I'm guessing. Oh, thunderstorm lost a day. It's rainy, it's cold. Bad weather lost a day. <laughs> Oxen wanders off, lost a day. So I should probably trade here. I'm now at Fort Kearney. Do you want to look around? Yeah, I do. Hey, Fort Kearney. Uh, let's talk to people. Can I do that? Oh, I can buy supplies though. Okay. The game is still plentiful along here, but getting harder. So we'll just some quotes from people. That's kind of neat. All right, let's leave the store and continue on the trail. Off we go. Weather cool, health good, food is doing all right so far. Impassable trail, lost five days. That's gonna hurt the food situation. Oh no, Thanos was lost. Thanos, I hope that we found you though. This is really quite comprehensive. I mean, aside from being very tiny and needing to scroll to read the menu, uh, I mean, the whole game appears to be here. Oh, what's this landmark coming up? It looks like a rock. Oh no, Aaron has died. Oh, Aaron. Oh, it's so sad. We'll pause a moment in respect for Aaron and then continue on our path. Thanos is dead. Stu died. You're now at Independence Rock. Like, let, let's look around. We've lost half the party. Holy crap. Man, the Oregon Trail is rough. Let's stop to rest. I gotta recover from these terrible losses. Out of nowhere. You never know how much time you have. That's true. All right, let's move along from Independence, 102 miles. Oh, Mike. Oh, no, Mike. Oh, Marcus. Oh, oh, there, there's your headstone. <laughs> we have lost. This is cool. So the whole game is here. 
you know, and it's always difficult. This is always a hard game, and the fact that we didn't make it all the way means it's what you'd expect out of Oregon Trail, quite honestly. I kind of like what Super Impulse has done with my little Oregon Trail in this unit. Aside from the fact that they use the arcade moniker when it's clearly not an arcade game, and then there's that scrolling where it's very slow to go up and down and read the menus. After a while, that didn't matter to me so much because I'd memorized the menus and didn't have to scroll up to read it. I knew how to buy food or how to forge the river or whatever, so you learn that pretty quickly and it becomes a non-issue. So in evaluating this micro arcade Oregon Trail, I'm going to rate it four tokens out of five. These are getting a little bit harder to find these days because they've been out for a couple of years. I'll put a link down in the show notes of this video where you can find one for yourself if you'd like to add it to your collection. And speaking of your collection, if there are still a few Super Impulse toys you don't yet have, take a look at this video that highlights one that you probably shouldn't miss out on if you're trying to get all of the good ones. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.